Okay, this is just one quick little follow-up lesson to the previous tutorial on dynamic paint. So, the one other thing you can do is a couple things you can consider is this bottom plane here that we're using for colors. You might turn that into, say, a fractal surface and kind of deform it a little bit. That way, when the particles go through and grab the color, they won't all look like circular spots that land because they'll be hitting the surface at different angles. All right. And then the other thing I did, I went up into this top mesh over here and I cut out this I just use the C key in edit mode and cut out those things and I cut out that piece and I dropped them down below the surface of the other one but above the surface of the color plane like that and then I went over into dynamic paint and I also made that a dynamic paint canvas separate from the other two and instead I made this wave effect okay so now the particle system is just one I just have one plane particle system coming in like this and let's see if I have the colors changing on it from frame if I don't I'm going to change the colors as purple and then to orange way out there so it might not be it might not see the change because it's going too far but you can change like you've seen the change in the color before so what we're hoping to do is run this so it's changing the surface let's see if it does it so the particles should be coming in any second yeah there they are they're blasting through the surface they are changing colors and when they hit the water they make the water change as well all right so then you can kind of combine everything all together uh-huh got it all right all right well that's it for this lesson and i'll see you in the next lesson